Hey there, uh, in this podcast, let's talk about uh, uh, some design decisions that you'll have to make, uh, not at the beginning of a project, beginning of something brand new, not even at the beginning of a feature, or not even an, enha- an enhancement, right? As part of regular work that you're doing, you're going to have to make design decisions all the time, and we all know that. Some decisions are more important than others, and they have a long-standing effect, right? I'll take one of them here. And also talk a little bit about you know testing and regression, and if you're wondering what they could possibly have anything to do with each other, uh, just just be, bear with me a little bit, right? So, uh, as part of the API gateway that we just published and went live about a week ago, we uh, you know we've supported a, a good set of endpoints, and there's a lot more coming. But even the initial list is a pretty, is a pretty big number. Now, the let's say if you call take an endpoint as an example, like get keys, it returns a particular response. Um, now it's got you know it has a list of key and a list list of keys, you know, and then you have attributes within those keys each of those keys. Now the current, uh, you know, it depends on where you're at, right? There are companies that are only, that only work on APIs. There are companies that don't build API, but work on our web and mobile apps. And there's different kinds of software companies. I'm just taking the recent, very simple use cases, right? Examples here. Now we came from uh, having a web app and a mobile app on iOS and Android to the API as our third product, so to speak. So we have something that's leveraging most of our endpoints, if not all of them. Uh, a good set of them already in our current implementation. So it has its own dependencies, but now we are publishing this, uh, repackaging it and making it a little more generic so it can serve your problems, your business problems, no matter what those problems are. But your responses may have to look slightly differently, right? Because you know we're not trying to retrofit what we have to what you need. Uh, we're trying to give you, uh, you know, an interface, an API that makes the most sense to you, regardless of what business pro, uh, you, the what business you are in and what problems you're trying to solve for your core customers. But again, when we need to, so taking that as an example, let's say we have an attribute called whatever, right, description. Just let's take an example because we actually do have that attribute. Uh, let's say you want to create uh, another attribute. Let's say you want to rename it to long description. Now again, apologies, this may not be a great example, but I'm just going to contrive and come up with, uh, with an example just to make a point, make the point, make a case here. Uh, so let's say you wanted to, we want to publish that uh, description as long description to our API consumers, right? Now, what do you need to do? Our current API, we can make the change in our current API. So our web app that depends on it, the mobile apps that depend on it, and the gateway that actually also depends on it can all, will all be impacted by that, which, which seems like the best thing, to, the easiest thing to do. Not easiest, but the most, uh, the central location for it to be, right? So if we are done, if you're starting all of them on day one and you're going to publish all of them at, together, which is never going to be the case, you would probably make such a decision. But now that it's already published now, there are mobile iOS, Android and iOS apps and, and our web app actually expects, has a certain expectation on these attribute names, right? We are not on graph yet, it's rest. So there is the, there's those nuances there as well. So it's called description. Now, if you change it to long description, it's not a big deal. This example is simple, but we still have to make code changes in a couple other places. Uh, do some regression testing, to publish, create the cut the release, and publish. All of that work is not terrible because this example is super simple because I came up with a contrived example. But you can imagine how complicated this can possibly get if you and how risky it can also be if you're trying to change an underlying system because you want to satisfy one of your clients, which is the set of API uh, gateway consumers, right? So that may not be the right decision to make. So the design decision that we've made is once the API sends a response, we have a massaging tier that sits outside the API that basically gets this response uh, and changes the attributes. She makes these changes, customizes it to the needs of that specific client, which by client, I mean the API gateway, which is a big system in itself, right? And everybody passing through the API gateway is now going to be seeing long description versus a short description. So by just moving where this change was being done outside of it, and this example is just an attribute being renamed, but you can imagine more massaging, more logic, more functionality. So there's a lot more to this that then I've shared here. This is not even the tip of the iceberg, but this is a design decision. Uh, and these are simple decisions, but they have to be made correctly. So if you end up making the decision to, you know what, go with changing it on the API, that would still not be wrong, quote unquote, but that, that does come with a lot of risks, a lot of time and effort, and it doesn't bring us enough, any meaningful value at all. None that I can think of, right? Maybe the only thing you can say is you don't have to have a second tier. Maybe there's this extra two millisecond cost of doing it or whatever, uh, but that but that apart, and that's not justifiable for, for any company I would imagine, right? Uh, 
So the only other challenge could be standing up this other system, whether it's integrated into your gateway or do you have a separate service or microservice that does this work? How you architect those pieces, how complicated they can be, they can certainly play a large role. But again, you know, baby steps, right? Do it, make the correct design decisions, uh, take small steps and then improve on those uh, steps and on those decisions. Uh, it's, it's not either or, meaning either you go all the way and build something like a build brand new microservice all the way from ground up and for doing this one little thing, if you can, if you can churn that out quickly, if you have a great team, then more power to you, right? Uh, we pride ourselves on that when it, we do that kind of stuff all the time. But if it's going to take you a little bit of time, then that's all right. That doesn't mean you make the decision to doing it the wrong way or the more complex way, the one, the way that will cause potentially cause more regression. You just do it in an existing app that you have. Let's say you have the gateway server, like in our example, you just do it there. And then you can find, later externalize then and then pull that out and, and have it be a standalone and by itself, right? So these are important decisions. And I say that I couldn't stress more because a lot of times you think that you'll do it here and then I'll make the change and you add a tech debt. And as we all know, tech debts, uh, I don't think they get addressed most of the time. I would say they rarely get addressed. And even when they do, you try to pick and choose which ones make the most sense. Uh, and and I've, have I seen, uh, have I ever seen more than 20, 25% of the tech debts ever get addressed in my career? I don't think so. Uh, if you have, and if you have a better way, uh, uh, if you have a nice way of, of addressing it, let me know, I'd be all ears and, and we're super eager to learn from that. We've just seen that it's, sometimes, you know, the tech debt is not uh, applicable anymore. Maybe that app, we've rebuilt it, we've done some things differently, so it doesn't make any sense to make that change. Or it's not too bad that we like, you know what, we have other fish to fry because we always, everyone always has other more important fish to fry than tech debt, so we never ever get to it, right? So those are the kind of the design uh, decisions that are, going to have a long-standing impact so you you have to make sure you feel comfortable confident uh, uh, and you can trust it as uh, almost as much as you can trust uh, this absolutely brilliant uh, spring weather day which is beautiful by the way uh, thanks for watching go to snowpal.com go to developers.snowpal.com if you want to integrate with the api go to learn.snowpal.com if you want to sign up for classes and and learn a lot more uh, from us uh, then you might be uh, from these podcasts because we get in a lot more details in, in those other sessions. Um, thanks. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.